Welcome to another amazing day at FMTraining.tv. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. There we go, people. Hi. Good to see you guys. Ba, 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 ba. I am here today with the wonderful Ken R and Nick, uh, not Ken, Ken Tooley. Sorry. <laughs> Ken R works. Uh, and Nick Hunter. Uh, and they have both been fantastic. We are continuing a series that has been ongoing for quite a while. Existing FileMaker File Design and Modernization, which we are doing today and this Friday, and then our usual days next week. Um, basically, Ken has given Nick his file. We're kind of doing like a live example of what it's like to renovate a file live with a senior engineer's assistance. It's very fun. Tomorrow will be really cool as well. We're doing 360 Works Deploy with Jesse Barnum. So, uh... You know, deploying your development environment onto a production server while keeping the data intact. That'll be quite fun and very interesting. If you'd like to support the channel, we would greatly appreciate it. We have our FM Training Annual Subscription Bundles. We got three options here. Basic Plus Complete. This comes with a version of FileMaker. All of them have 100 plus hours of really high energy video training content. If you're totally new to the FileMaker platform, I highly recommend that you pick this up and do this. Um, even if you're not new, if you're like, man, I've been a developer for ages, but you don't really know like a lot of things. Like I always bring up server because server is a pretty common one. There's FileMaker developers out there who are really skilled in making the file. But when it actually comes to hosting it on server, things get a little dicey. So we have an entire course on server. We've got a course in WebDirect. We've got a course on Go. Uh, and we cover pretty much everything under the sun when it comes to knowing your ups and downs from really cohesively understanding FileMaker as a platform. So I highly recommend it. It's great to have that going. Now that we're all good... Nick, what are we doing today? Hello, hello, Marge, hello, Ken, hello, everybody. So, I hope you had a, you got a very nice Fourth of July. Today, what do we do? Uh, Ken, last week we talked about splitting the file into, you know, extracting a, you know, uh, extracting a piece of the file to make that piece shareable with multiple other files. Okay. Right. So. Uh, and we don't want to 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 duplicate and triplicate the same thing. So we want to share the same information in with multiple files. Then for that we need to extract, share. So I'm going to show you how we do this. How when in the middle of the of the way, you know, you decided to do that, right? And you want to extract a piece and share it. So we're going to display that, you know, I'm going to show that, right? So today we start, and I'm not sure we are going to finish that in one session, but uh, but that would be interesting because it's a nice, something I didn't do for a long time and I, I didn't prep, you know, so it's without a net, okay? So, and that's what I want to do. I, you know, I, I had a discussion with the boss and I said, I love doing this, you know, I love not, prep, not prepping much, not thinking, you know, but not prepping much and uh, just, you know, display to everybody what we face when we when we do things, right? And uh, and the method we use to debug and, you know, it's, inter it's an interesting training session to see how we tackle the problems because every problem has a way to fix. So it's uh, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good teaching. So that's what we do. So, so I have a copy of the of the the Ken's files, but before to do that, I want to rename it, right? And I want this is a copy of this file, you know, that I have on this um, on on this server on this on your, um, on your uh, desktop. Computer, yeah. On, on, oh yeah, my desktop. Yeah. So I'm going to rename that file and renaming the documents, you know. That's what we want. Yeah. That will become documents. So now that we have this, uh, I want to show how I'm, I am sharing files, you know, because most of the people think that we need to open the file in order to share it, you know, but it is not necessary. And I don't like to do this. I hate opening a file locally, right? When it comes from the server. Why? Because you, you have a bunch of globals and stuff like that, and you you pretty much mess up the file when you do this. So I download the file from the server, and I never open it. I don't want to open it, you know. So how we share a file without opening it? Right? Just go and go to sharing, right? You upload, mm -hmm. 
select your server, right? Sign in, then hit browse, right? And then you can select the file you want to upload, okay? And you can upload many files. You know, you can upload many, not only one, but here we do one, okay? So in my server, I'm going to upload that documents uh, file, right? Mm -hmm. So upload it. So now we have this file, which is a perfect copy of what you have, right? Yeah. But renamed, renamed because, you know. And then we are going to work on this. So yeah, I can open it, done. Uh, what? The... Admin, admin, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I have a copy of the file open, right? Yeah, this is a, the starter script that I need to. So I have this, it's exactly the replication of this. Okay, so I didn't do anything uh, than this. You know, it's the same. With yeah. the same data, with the same. But we are going to do some cleaning here because obviously there's many things I don't need, right? Right. Right. So what do I need? I need one table, which will be the document table, right? So yeah. I'm going to I'm going to remove everything from that file, but I'm going to keep some stuff, you know, because we never know, okay? I'm going to uh, keep the, um, what's the name? The audit log, uh, you know, in case we need it. Document, of course, global, login, and I'm going to don't need the navigation. Maybe the manufacturers um, because that is of the balloon. No, I guess not. Never mind. No, no. This value list stuff, and that's it. So I'm going to delete all of this. Okay. So I'm going to remove this from the file, right? Yeah. Delete, right? And I'm going to remove the occurrence also. So that means I'm going to, to remove all trace. So here we have some, you know. Okay, so here I delete the table, right? So I have a clean, clean file now, right? Of course, in the relationship, I, I pretty much can delete everything, okay? Uh, so, but, you know, it, it keeps, it kept only what, what is actually uh, working, still working, but because I can you remember all... to check the box. I always forget that box. Yeah, I don't because yeah, after that it's, it's a mess uh, to do the cleanup, right? Yeah. So I can remove um, all of those things, you know, and keep only what is important. Uh, I can remove this, of course, the document. I keep it. Uh, the navigation I delete. I keep the globals because this is what I kept, okay? So the globals, the document world, the T12, and the login world, I keep that here, okay? And that's it, that's all what I have. I don't have anything else, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, in the, doc in the document here, I might have things broken or stuff like that, but we are going to take care of this, normally not, because I didn't do any uh, look up the, the type. That's why I kept this, right? For the type of document and stuff like that. But so right now I have no idea exactly how I'm going to implement this, okay? So I keep it simple. I copy the file, I upload it, and I remove what I think not being necessary, okay? But I kept a little bit of things to be, to, you know, make sure that I, I didn't delete too much, right? Mm -hmm. When you have a doubt, don't delete, and you delete later. But here I have no doubts, and I, I knew I need this, and uh, and uh, and this and this. I, I keep it. I don't know why, but you know, if we need in the future, we have it. Right. So I can validate this. I can just, you know. 
move on. Of course, I'm going to remove the trigger when we start the document, when you start the file, because we don't need that right now. We might need a trigger, you know, when you first open the file, we might need something, right? Um, right. So we're going to review this. First, I want to validate this because we did a big chunk of change. So I want to validate this when this is validated. So this is validated. So now I can do the cleaning uh, on what I'm sure that I can do, right? I'm going to uh, remove. So I can delete those things. I can delete those things, you know, this, this. I can delete pretty much all of those things, uh, keeping the utility and do this. So I can delete those things, but I kept the document, right? Mm -hmm. So we clean up the layouts, right? We keep with a minimum. Then we are going to do the same on the script side, keep the minimum. And then we are going to review if the table, the document table, if we need to fill globals or something like this. Okay. Right. So we're going to we're going to or if we sure. delete it too much. Yeah. So that this will take some time because it's we're deleting some a lot of uh, things. But it's okay. So now we have a, so pretty much what we do is to keep just what we need. And then the big work will be to reconnect the main file that, you know, the your file, you know, the, the main file with the pilot and the balloon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to reconnect everything without breaking anything. Correct? Right. So, uh, and this is why it is important to do things, you know. That's why we we just duplicate the file, remove what we need to remove to keep all the occurrences and to keep all the names, right, uh, identical. Okay, so I'm going to try not having to do too much work on reconnecting everything. Normally, uh, like I said, I didn't do that for a long time, right? So I, you know, I will try to remember, <laughs> but it's interesting. It's interesting to see how that we behave. This is taking I think a long I would, time. Yeah. Uh, oh, it, I didn't do that for at least 15 years. Yeah. To do that, to do that reconnection, I should I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh, I wasn't expecting to take that long. We wait a little bit, and um, I shouldn't have done that. But sorry for this. Otherwise, I oh okay, so he's not. So uh, he heard me say, "Oof, Nick is upset." So let's finish it. <laughs> <laughs> so now, okay, let's do. Uh, so let's clean up the, you know, what is the script that we have on the beginning, right? The scripts. Uh, so we can, we don't need that. And uh, we need this to happen, right? Uh, Which calls the set globals, I think, if yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need those two things. Uh, this, I don't know if I need that, but this, I definitely needed this now. Uh, you know, and uh, we can just say go to documents. Um, I don't need this, I don't need this. Um, and the MBS, yeah, stuff, you get rid of that one, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, we can do this. And I can, I, I know that I, I, I don't, you know, it's missing everything, so so this just what I need, you know, okay, so. So this being done, okay, my file, my document file is ready. It's ready to be 
uh, used. Okay. So now what I want to do the goal here is not to break the, the, the relationship, but I'm not sure if we can do that, you know, because we are going to change all the dependency on everything that goes to the document. So we have, uh, uh, here we have where, where we go document, here we go document, 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 document. So all of those, they go to the doc, to the doc here, to that mm -hmm. current file. Okay. We go there, right? So I have no idea uh, how it will behave when I will change this, okay? So what I want to do first, right, is to rename that table, the local one, and to renaming uh, local, okay? I don't want to delete it, absolutely not. This, don't delete this right now, right? Never. If you do, it breaks everything. Everything broken, right? We try not to break. Okay. So we go to manage the external data source because now we want to connect another file to this file. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need to create a dependency. We need to create a relationship between those two. So I said new, I add a file, and I click host. And I'm going to go here and take that document. So now I have the name doc documents. Okay. So I'm, re I'm going to name this like this. Okay. So now I have a dependency to that file. So the two are connected. Okay, so mm -hmm. this file here and this file here are now connected together. So I can go to database, right, mm -hmm. and change re and, and replace that table by the other one. So let's try with this one here. This is a local. right? So all, all of those now, well, we can try one. We can try this one. This one goes to the local. Right. Okay. So I'm going here and say, okay, now I want to go to documents. Right. So here now I have the current file or I have the dependency, the relationship with the other one. And I can say this one. Okay. So, but I need to redo it. Why? Because I don't want to rename this. Remember my trick? I don't want to rename this. If I change that, rename it. Right. right. So I don't want that to happen. So what you do at the end, space, remove the space. So you change you made a change on the name. So now I can go there, change this, and this doesn't doesn't is not going to be uh, changed, the name. Right. So Thanks now, for reminding us of that. <laughs> yeah. So now this I I'm changing from one table to another. Same name, same field, same everything. Okay. Do. Technically, it didn't break anything. It didn't. Everything now connected like it was. Right? It's not breaking. This is now connected to the document table not the current file, mm -hmm. correct? Okay. So technically, technically, this one too need to be connected to the other one. So space, remove, documents, documents, and boom. Now this is not broken. Why? It's because it's exactly the same table of the one I had before in that file, the, the table I have there, it's exactly the same, the same um, 
uh, what's the name? With the same, with the same everything. Yeah. Okay. That's why it didn't get killed. Okay. So now, everywhere where you have documents, I need to do this. Right. But first, we can validate this and see how this will behave. Correct? Yeah. Normally, if my recollection, okay, here, I do I have a context here with the 12? I didn't have a context, yeah. I didn't have a T12, you know, I didn't have a, a, a T12 do document. It's okay. But normally now I can create a new, like a new, uh, oh, I have this doc stuff here, but it's okay. If I create a T12 documents layout in that file, okay, everything I'm displaying right now is coming from that table, from that file. It is showing here but it's coming from that file. So let's let's have a try, okay, if it's true, okay? I have 22 record, 22 record. The title of this file is R4, 5, 2, 12. So, so if I change the name here in that file, let's say A, 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 right? It changed the name in here. It should. Oh, title. Where's the title? Here. See, it changed here. If mm -hmm. I change the name here, it changed here too. So, this table here, now, that's this layout that points to that table, to that occurrence, okay, goes to that layout, to that, to that file, because a layout... So well, that's something interesting to know. I mean, a layout points to an occurrence. A layout doesn't point to a table. A layout points to a, an occurrence, points here. That occurrence happened to, 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 be, to leave in that file. So now that layout is showing data and field from that file. Mm -hmm. Correct? Okay. So now, let's see what happened when I change everything here. So my naming convention is cool for that because I know this is from documents. So I name it, change it. This one go to documents. This one go to documents. Nope. Right. Value list, value list. And are we looking for documents on either part of the occurrence name? You know, like we have, um, so you have pilot, like there you had pilot um, documents. Um, yeah, so and, you and then it was, to... yeah. This one, the, the capital one, tells you this is going to documents, but this is going to pilot documents that so we don't care. This is going to your documents, your documents, so we don't care about those because we don't use that anymore. Um, so that's it. That's yeah, we it. have so a lot. Actually, we still have a lot of stuff in that uh, relationship graph that we're not really yeah. using. Yeah. So here we have, here on the pilot, we have a lot of document stuff, so we can do this. Right, so we go there, doc, we go there. Doc. So following your naming scheme, everything where documents is in capitals. Exactly. Everything that is document in capital need to be changed, right? And technically, 
all the relationships are intact because I'm not changing anything. A farmaker is smart enough to retrieve his babies because that's exactly the same name. Everything is the same name. The, the table is the same name. The occurrence is the same name. Everything has the same name. The file, the, 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 the field, sorry. So that's why I'm not breaking anything, right? Like, how did you ever figure out the little trick of like putting the space, of changing the name basically before you change yeah. the underlying? How did you figure that out? <laughs> Uh, I figured that I don't know, maybe twenty years ago. Um, I noticed that if I change the name before I select, if just you know, one of those I, things I, you just tried it one time. Yeah, you, I changed the let's say I change the name and then I click. I say, uh, uh-uh, it didn't change the the name when I changed the name. So let's you know, let's so do let's this uh, exploit that feature. Yeah, exactly. Every single little trick like this help you, right? Oh yeah. Uh help you to save time and a lot of uh headaches. So let's check balloon balloon balloon. Yeah, so I think we're good. <laughs> Manufacturing document documents. So when you have uh, the name in italic, that means it's going it's going to a related file, right? Right. Okay. So let's validate this. So technically, okay, I shouldn't have anything broken. I shouldn't. So let's go to balloon and see. That goes to the new file. And I can and I can prove it. Okay, so what is the balloon ID on this? Oh, that pilot. Where's the balloon ID? Current balloon ID, boom. Okay. So I'm going to search for this guy. Okay. So I have two documents. I, I am in document table, uh, document file. Right. That's a document file. And this is the file that is there. Okay. Those two. So let's see. You know, balloon documents. So I'm going to documents. So let's see if if I change the title on this, if that works. Okay. Test one. So that became text one. Nice. So I didn't break anything in the layout. I didn't break anything. On the relationship, I didn't break anything on the on the script. I'm pretty sure the script works, you know. Um, so I don't know if I have a can files somewhere. Um, I don't know where I put your files. Um, it's uh, the iPad, uh, the Quad A Pad clone. I think is the. My name is not in the uh, file. I don't think. Yeah, I think this one. No, yeah, certificate back, certificate bro, uh, from. Yeah, those were those were things I sent you. Yeah, but they, I don't know what they don't. I don't what they what they are. They're images. Yeah, there's no um. There's no extension. Anyway. Yeah, there should be okay. images. Yeah, let's let's use this. So I'm going to add a file here. And add this. You see is inserting right the file and um, in the other so I didn't touch anything are they that big 
Oh no, it's okay. So the files, but there's no extension. There should be what PNG, JPEG. One of the two, yeah. Okay, so let's delete this because as without extension, FileMaker cannot recognize the file. Yeah, but you can see that the the everything it still went. Yeah, I just didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, everything still work. I mean, I didn't change uh, any scripts, right? I did. I didn't break anything, right? So it's there. There we are. Now, if I'm going there, right? So now I have three records. I have the two first, and I have this one in the other table, mm -hmm. yep. the other file. So this is how you do. Uh, you know, actually, I I pretty I did it very well because <laughs> you did. So, <laughs> Yeah, 20 minutes I, I'm and we moved I'm everything. I'm surprised. I, no, I didn't do that for a long time. Well, uh, I was, uh, I don't remember if I was living in the US, and, you know, I think I was in Saudi Arabia, you know, because I worked two years in Saudi Arabia. Um, and I think I did that la, over there. The last time I did something like this, um, <laughs> it's because actually I did, um, I did. The last time I did is to do the opposite, is to import a table from an, another file to the main file and to get only one unique file. You know what I mean? Because before we yeah, had many, yeah. many, many. Okay. So I opposite. I imported everything back. You know? So so now, now we have this. Okay. Um, we we didn't break anything. Because we didn't touch anything, we didn't try to to be to be smart here. We just uh, duplicate the file. So I encourage you to do this, to duplicate the file, and I explain why I don't want to do otherwise. I don't want to just go to the table, copy the table. Go to another a new file and paste the table. I don't want to do that, right? I don't. Uh, it's, I, I don't remember why, but I had a bad experience with this. Uh, it could be because it was the prehistory of FileMaker, but um, I, I still don't do that. I mean, you duplicate the file. You upload the file duplicated. You don't even try to open it. Then when the file is in the server, you clean up with what you know for sure you don't need. And then, right, and you keep the minimum on that file, right? Mm -hmm. You keep the minimum, right? You keep right. what should work on that file. And here, right, you keep uh you just you don't do anything you don't delete anything yeah, you, you just change the pointer of the occurrence you just point exactly you just change the occurrence and because you have a perfect match on names perfect match on um you know match on names match on everything farmaker will understand what's going on and will just reconnect the dot together without breaking anything. So do we have any questions? Oh, wait, no, is Ken's V6 available? That'll be available probably sometime next week. So. Yeah, or, oh, you know, whenever you want. Them. You know, can be like a Friday if you want. We could try Friday, yeah. Yeah, because Friday I'm on, right? Yes, you are, so. You saw that everything is perfectly connected. The script are there. Uh, you know, it doesn't break anything. Because we did, we didn't take any. Did we take the scripts out of the new documents file? No, I, I can do. Yeah, you, do, you do we do. need to? I mean, I yeah. mean, is that probably to clean things up? It would be. Yeah, we can. You know, uh, we can just remove everything uh, that we don't need. You know, 
but I don't want to do it because it takes some time. So I don't, you know, I don't want to because of that people. that long delete stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, it's uh, those script now are pretty much broken because I removed the, you know, see uh, missing missing. Yeah, all missing, that stuff's missing. gone. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, so we can we can delete them. Uh, you know, not this one. I this one, yes, yes, this one, but not those. Those are my universal script that can be used. Yeah. But you, you, but you understand. So, so why, why it happened? So why I didn't break anything? Because I stayed there. I stayed there. I do. I, I did all the change here, and that's it. Don't try to, you know, you don't need to go to all the script and remap. No, you don't need that. Just replace the table of occurrence that point that was pointing to that document table that we have before the local one, and you say, okay, I want that to point to the other one, and that's it. But thanks to the, you know, um, the table, the field in the table are exactly the same. I have no nothing, you know, difference, right? Yeah. So now, and I guess if have... you did end up deleting something out of your copy, you, you still have it back in the other. You can always bring yeah. it back over because now but, you have basically two yeah. copies of the file. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I can, I can. But now that being said, that being said, um, uh, everything that happened here, the relationship I have here, right? The relationship I have here. Uh, everything that I have here, the, uh, I don't know if I have something that points to this one, right? This one, this relationship in that file is using that graph. Right. Okay. Not this one. It's not using this one anymore. So this graph you know, so even though um, this uh, all the all all the fields, okay, all the fields that are in that table, where is the table? All the fields that are in that table that is in that file needs to use that or that relationship map. This one, okay. But not this one. So now, uh, because the, the because the table doesn't exist in that file, so the relationship map here, those are just connection to the other one, to the other file, right. to the other file. If I want to change, if I want to change a field definition, I need to go to that file. Mm -hmm. I cannot go there, right? Mm -hmm. But if I want to make a change in that field, from here, I can. If I go there, right, and I select, uh, you know, where this file is, T12, if I do this, oh, I can't, see? Mm -hmm. They locked it. I can't do that, you know. So that we cannot do changed because cannot, I'm in the wrong yeah, table. The wrong yeah, no, file. It's, it's because wrong I'm file. not in the good file. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I thought I thought we could do that, but no, because it's yeah, because it's another file. If I select the table that is here, I can do it, right? Oh, I can. Oh, no, because they're related. Oh, okay, I understand. So let's go. Let's do something here. Let's do something funny. Uh, if I go to my T12, I didn't create a T12 here. Yeah, just did. yeah, one down from where you just were. Okay. If I go there, can I change it now? I can't. You know, I can't do any any change here. Doesn't allow me. Even though I'm in the current table, right? 
because it's on the it's on the other file. So I I cannot act here. To change something on that on those files here, I need to go there uh, here and do the change. Or the change here, right? Pretty much. So of course, let's say, you know, I want now. So here I can no, I can, I can, I can, I can do a change here. If I go there, see I can. Right. Okay. So because I am in the local file. Okay. So now, let's say I want. Okay. In that file, I want the connection to this file. Right. So I want to do the opposite. I'm I, here. I am in that file. I'm in the uh, three, uh, the pad clone, and I was going to the documents using right. another. That's where it's getting file. the documents, right? Okay. Now I want to do the opposite. From that file, I want to go there. So we just need to do this. Manage external data source. So now we need. I need to create a data source that go, right? to my other file. So I am from this one, and now I want to go there. OK? Mm -hmm. So I have my relationship, right? Mm -hmm. So now, here, I can be there or go to documents, because I'm, you know, I'm in document. And I can create a connection to my pallet, for example, or my balloon, let's say balloon. So this is italic because I am the source is the, here is showing the data source is the pad clone. Here the data source is the current file, okay? So now I can do this, for example, right? From this to this. And from that file, I can display a poll, for example, that show me the balloon, right? That right. are related to that file. Balloon thousand. Mm -hmm. And here, balloon thousand. Right? And so in practice now, I get a new set of documents. I still go and add them into the pad side of this. I, I work in the pad side. When I insert it, it's actually inserting it in the documents file. Correct? Exactly. Exactly. So, so they, I don't ever, I don't really have to go do any work in the documents file pretty much ever because all my stuff is, it's happening over there, but I'm controlling it from the pad side. Yeah. Just if you want in that table, in that table, to have a file, to have a, a, a field, for example, that gives you the number of, Pilot, for example, right? Or number of balloons that has. Well, it would be pilot. the number of related. So if it was a pilot document, you know, how many balloons do they have? If it was a, a balloon document, how many pilots are there? Either way. Yeah. So if you want a field in that table, right, then you need to work on that. You need to work on that file and grabs in so that that means you will never never do any modification on this from here here you just access and i just demonstrated you just here you have an access that's it yeah right but i cannot go to 
my document table from here. This is my local one, the old one. It's the wrong one, yeah. Right? So I cannot yeah. say, you know, so I need to close this, right? Go there and do the job here. Right? So since you mentioned about that, like the total number, does our count of the documents or pilots in the pad side still work? Of course. Of course, because here I'm using a relationship that goes here, for example, in that balloon here, I'm using the old, this one, the H, this is what I'm using. So in that file, in the balloon, I have a number of documents that use this T O two H, but Which this we got it, yeah. Leaves in the other file. Right, right. And throughout the relationship. So that, that that's why you know when you have two files, it's very, very you know fuzzy, let's say. You know? Yeah, I I, I can see a, a higher level of thinking complexity in the thinking of keeping them straight yeah because it's not um it's because i think i'm working over here but i'm really working over there and yeah yeah okay if i want this table a field in this table to get any information from that from one of those tables, I need a relationship and I need to do it from here. From here, it's the opposite. I can, from all those tables, I can access this table here and grab information, and, but need to be here. I cannot say, oh, here, um, yeah, I could, but it, it won't be, you know, I could say uh, I want balloon, you know, and from the balloon go to the documents. Okay. Like this. So, I can do this just for display. Let me explain. I can create a new layout from this table. Right? So this I am in the now here I am in a document file. This layout pick information from that file and we'll display them in that file. So here, all those fields are the fields that belongs here. Demonstration. I have seven records here, I have seven records here. Mm -hmm. That my names, okay? Okay. And I can use that relationship to show the documents. Yeah. So if I want this file to have a layout with a base related table leaves in the other file it's possible i just need to create an occurrence that points to that file and go this points to the current file so i can do the opposite i can do it in both ways from that doc you understand i mean uh, you know friday we, i'm going to go back to this right because well, I, have, I, I have kind of the next step question, um, which yes. maybe can lead us into Friday. 
So mm -hmm. now that I have a separate documents file and I've got my quad a pad file, got them separated. The point of this was, is I'm going to get a BBBB pad file that needs to point back to the same documents. That table. Friday. Okay. But there's no problem whatsoever. And AAA and BBBB will have some of the same pilots, but yes. you know there'll be a di there'll be a different set of pilots. Yes, and that's why uh, here, right? We will need a cross reference table. Okay. Or All here, right. Okay. You know, I'm going to. I think I'm going to keep it here. I mean, each. Each uh, that Friday, you know that's the okay. next step. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. Need Friday's a, fine. We need a, need a, a cross reference table in AAA and BBB, right? Yeah, in that's AAA pointing. and BBB don't need to talk to each other. They just need to talk to the documents to file. Yes, because now, so that will be the difference. Because now we we talk directly, you know, we have an ID here. But that will go away. That will go away. That that field here, that field in that table, that field will go away. Okay. That I need to move that field here in each of the AAA, BBB, and CCC. Right. So Friday, okay. I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to call it BBB, and I'm going to have another one called CCC, and I'm going to show Perfect. how it works, you know, how we do this, how we have these documents, this, this very same document shared on multiple pilots from, different, from multiple files. There's no problem whatsoever for you. <laughs> well, you, many, but you're gonna but, but you're gonna make it so it's no problem for us. Exactly. So I'm going to explain. So so far you saw that the separation wasn't that good. That that, that wasn't that e difficult. No, no problem there. You know, that was pretty it wasn't simple. Like, it wasn't like my divorce, by the way. You know, <laughs> I, wish, I wish my divorce would have been that easy. Um <laughs> so but uh the separation wasn't that difficult. Just you need to know the process, you know. Uh, and now we we'll see that it won't be that difficult neither to keep the connection here without breaking them, moving that field that field out of the game. Okay. Okay. I'm excited for Friday. Yeah, but we will have some work, okay? That was the easy part, you know? But Friday will be a little bit more complex because, you know, there's things to do because we need to change this. Uh, but we will do the same thing, you know? We will remap the the field, the you know, the tables and stuff like that. So, we will, you know, that won't change. That won't change, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, it will. It will change, by the way. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I know you're we not doing a lot break. of prep, but you have a couple nights to sleep on it. Yeah, I'm going to sleep on it. Yeah, you know, but I don't want to prep because it was fun. No, was I fun no, I understand. It yeah, was it was fun for me. You know, I just follow the instinct, and uh, you know, because I didn't remember anything about this. But uh, you know, but it, no, I don't want to prep. Uh, so far, I didn't prep anything. Sleeping on it is not prep. No. And uh, I, I, oh, by the way, I have the custom function file uh, ready soon. I was working on it today. Okay. You know the file where I have all the custom functions. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. You promised to share with everybody. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. Okay, uh, March. Uh, you know we are on time for for a change. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so it goes. Thank you both very much. It's been a good day today. Welcome back, everybody. Ba, 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 ba.
Okay, so see you on Friday. See you Friday. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Ken. It's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir.